Hello, welcome to another video. This is, I don't know if I should call it a trig equation. It's not an equation because we're not solving for anything. We just want to show that when you add arctan1 to arctan2 to arctan3, your answer is pi. Okay. Mm, well, I know from the unit circle that arctan1 is pi over 4. Um, let's not forget that every time you solve or you try to work with arctan, you know the minimum you can get from arctan and you know the maximum. So the range for arctan graphs, I'm going to put it here, somewhere here. Um, it's going to look like this. So it's a graph that looks like this. So that this part is negative pi over 2 and here is pi over 2. So the maximum you can get, so the maximum any of these can be is pi over 2 and the minimum there could be is negative pi over 2. And because this is an odd function, I can see that this must be from some positive graphs. Okay, so I'm just going to stick to that. Now, because I already know what this is, let's write the answer. This is pi over 4. I don't know what this is, so I'm going to write x. I don't know what this is, I'm going to write y. But want to see that pi over 4 plus x plus y will be what is the most it could be. I'm trying to set the template for what's going to happen because whatever answer we get will have to be greater than pi over 4. Okay, definitely, because we're going to add this to it, add this to it. But what is the maximum it can be? Well, what is the maximum this can be? The maximum this can be will be, this is maximum pi over 2. Maximum pi over 2. If you add pi over 2 to pi over 2, what would you get? You're going to get pi. So it means that the minimum, the totals, because these can be 0, okay? We're going to say they're not going to be negatives because these are positives and this is just an odd function. So if you want to get a positive, your angles have to be positive. If you want to get a negative, your angles have to be negative. So this makes it very clear, okay? To get negative values of arctan, you have to put negative angles here. Or positive angles here so let's just leave it that way okay it helps us to understand it this plus this the minimum it could be is pi over 4 if we assume these two are 0 and the maximum it could be is pi over 4 plus pi over 2 plus pi over 2 which are the maximum values so we can say that the result we're gonna get is gonna be something like this pi over 4 will be less than or equal to arctan 1 plus arctan 2 plus arctan 3 and this must be less than or equal to the sum of this and these two and the max these can be will be pi over 2 pi over 2 which is pi so it's going to be and what is pi plus pi over 4 that's going to be 5 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4. So the answer to this or this, the, the, the pi value of these three must be between pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. So this is something we need to set before we start trying to find what it is going to be. So now that I know what this is, I don't know what this is, I don't know what this is, but there's something I know. So if I know that x, if x is equal to arctan 1, sorry, arctan 2 now, if I take the tan of both sides, look, tan x will be equal to tan of arctan, let's write it this way, arctan 2. Well, we know by the principle of inverse functions, the inverse of a function always takes out the original. So this is 2. So I know that tan x is equal to 2. Similarly, if I do the same thing here, I know that tan y is equal to 3. So I can also say, also, I can say tan y is equal to 3. So I've got two things now. I know what tan x is. I know what tan y is. Tan x is 2. Tan y is 3. But I'm not looking for tan x or tan y. I want x plus y. I want these two together. Or if I can get them separately, that's going to be quite helpful. But I don't think I can get them separately. So I'm going to do them together. 
Okay, so let's go. Now, is it possible to get an expression for tan x plus y? Why do I want to get tan x plus y? Because if I get tan x plus y and I get it as a number, let's say 10 is the answer, then I know that x plus y will be arc tan 10, right? So here, what is the expression for this? Um, I don't want to talk too much about this. I want you to know that this is equal to tan, just as you have formulas for sine and cosine, this is the formula for tangent, tan x plus tan y over one minus tan x tan y. If you wanna know how this is obtained, you just get the formula for sine x plus y, which is sine x cos y plus cos x sine y. You keep it on top, under, you divide it by cosine x plus y, which is cos x cos y minus sine x sine y, okay? If you have that rational expression, then divide everything in the term by sine x, by cos x cos y. You're gonna end up with this expression. So with this, I know what tan x is, I know what tan y is, we already got them. Let's plug them in. See, I'm gonna end up with two plus three over one minus two times three. This gives me negative one. That's five over negative five, which is negative one. So I can clearly say that tan x plus y is equal to negative one. So what is x plus y? You just take the octan. So that means x plus y, x plus y is octan negative one. And mind you, this is something you must know. Whenever you solve an equation, a trig equation, and you now switch to octan, because there are many possible values of x plus y that could give you this value, you have to consider what the, um, the, um, the period of the function you're dealing with. If you're dealing with tangent, you have to add pi n. If you're dealing with sine or cosine, depending on the frequency of a current, you have to add plus two pi n. So never forget to do that when you solve an equation, not in this case. This is not an equation, this is just an expression. This one, you solved an equation, now you have to say that x plus y will be equal to, well, the tangent of negative one, if the octan of negative one, if the input is negative one, your output must be a negative value, okay? And it has to be negative pi over four plus pi n. So always remember this. So now we've got x plus y to be this. We just need to go back here. So now let's see. We said that this answer we're looking for, our solution is between pi over four and pi n, okay? But let's see, we're gonna add this to this plus this. So pi over four, we're gonna have pi over four plus x plus y. We know x plus y is this, which is negative pi over four plus pi n. Nice. What is it? What does it give us? Well, this gives us zero, and what do we have left? Pi n. Um, what can n be? Can n be zero? If n is zero, then we're gonna get zero, but zero is not in this interval, so the answer is not zero. Can n be one? If n is one, this is gonna be pi, and that means pi is in this interval, pi is between this and this, because this is slightly greater than pi, and this is nice. So pi is a good answer. Can n be two? Remember, n has to be an integer. Can n be two? Two pi is already greater than this value. So the only value we can accept for this is when n equals one and this is equal to pi. So n must be one to satisfy the inequality, inequality. Therefore, arctan 
1 plus r10 so which is equal to pi times 1 equals pi okay we just showed that it's pi arc 10 2 plus arc 10 3 is equal to pi everywhere every day every time hope you learned something at least a refresher for some of you who've forgotten your trick i'll see you in the next video never stop learning those who stop learning have stopped living bye bye